Hello everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I haven't done a video on here for a while so it's about time I returned. So here we are for another video, uh, basically because, well two reasons, one I haven't played it and I wanted to just give it a go again, uh, but also today's video was fairly short uh, just because it was mostly time lapsed in uh, Farming Simulator episode 64 on Felsbrunn. So yep, yeah, today what we're going to be doing is driving probably from Duisburg to Calais, uh, which is of course using the fairly busy road, although you can go a much faster way if you'd like to. Um, but yep, yeah, this is the multiplayer server and things are quite busy, it's actually quieting down a bit uh, because it is about half past ten at night. So uh, yeah, first things first, I'm just going to, well, booking a job actually. Uh, I might try out the external contracts because they do seem to have a much better variety uh, and the chance of getting something like Calais or Dover is much higher. However, on this occasion it would appear that it's actually not even there. I can also try out the freight market and I could also go from Dusseldorf or Cologne. No. Nothing. Okay, so what I might do then is just have a bit of a rest, if I can do, because that might bring up a few new jobs. It also says retarder activated, even though for some strange reason, uh, even though I attempt to turn it off, it, it doesn't turn off. So I don't know if it's actually activated or not, it's very strange. Um, so yeah, let me just uh, park up here again, where I started, and we'll have a very quick rest, and hopefully uh, we should get some different stuff now. I got paid. Yes, here we go. So it's from... Cologne to Calais. Uh, it's not actually the location we're in currently, but that's okay. Just as long as I can get to this place in a fairly short period of time. So this will be done from first person view, because it's much easier. Um, so we're actually going down here, there is a, a lorry coming. There it goes, and a car. I think we're clear. Yeah, we're clear. Okay, off we go. So this is going to be a nice casual drive, I hope, although yeah, there's going to be quite a few other road users, some of which will be very professional, and others will be absolute maniacs, so we'll see if we can get there without taking any more damage. Here comes a helicopter. Right, so there's always going to be loads of people around. Um, it could be that we get crashed into just randomly. It does happen. Oh, well. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, there we go, there's my first example. Very well timed. Which did damage me, even though, well, obviously if it was real life it would definitely damage me, but in the game I think it does try to penalise the person who caused the accident, at least that's what it would appear. But not always. Because I've had vehicles crash into me from behind while I'm just driving along at the speed limit, at my own pace, and it completely writes me off. So, yeah, there's definitely something a bit, a bit funny about that. Um, but overall, the system is very good. But like I said, in real life, it would it would do a lot of damage to you. You're not going to be exempt just because you didn't cause the accident. So, yep, uh, 57 miles, let's keep going. It should be a, a nice journey. And it's actually going to be quite a, a big job driving from here to Calais. Um, it's actually in a better position to go on the main road, but just because I like to see all the mayhem which is being caused on the back road, the Calais to Duisburg road, which is called the CD road, uh, yeah, we're going to go the back way because it's just more interesting. But it does take longer, and it's also more miles, although sometimes it can actually cut a good corner, depending on which, which journey you're doing. Uh, it's just you get held up so much if you're playing at a peak time because of the traffic. Now I'm not going to be sticking to speed limits too seriously for this video, uh, mostly because it is multiplayer. But in if it was a single player video, then I would indeed stick much closer to the speed limit. Thing is, if I don't, I'm just going to get loads of people behind me, and then they're just going to try and overtake and cause massive head-on collisions. Almost there, we have got a player in front, Vegu. Uh, yeah, so from here, nothing is going to be cut out. There will be quite a few time lapses, um, but that is just so there's a continuity to the video, otherwise, it's just going to be a load of jump cuts. And you're going to think, wait, where are we now? We've, we've suddenly moved. Look at that beautiful sunset. That 
is very nice. Uh, okay, so uh, I have got two destinations set. I think I'm actually going to have to do a U-turn here, which is very unprofessional. I think I have set my destination to somewhere over there, but it should be this location here. So here we are. Let's pick up our trailer, which is heading to Calais. I am fairly sure, yep, it's large tubes. So, it is going dark, it's, it's just typical that I have chosen to record as it is going dark in the server, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, so yeah, just wait for this truck to move first, because otherwise it's going to look really weird that I reverse straight through them to pick up another trailer. It is Mad Max, apparently, according to the nameplate. Right, okay, so now we play a waiting game. I am assuming that uh, Mad Max is, or Mad Nax? Mad Nax? Max Nax? No, I would have been it, I don't know. Uh, there we go, right, okay. In fact, we're both taking a sim. Oh no, you're taking small tubes and I'm taking big tubes. Yes, I have big tubes. Okay, so let me just reverse up to the trailer from the in cab view. As I have said in the past, real lorry drivers might be watching this and thinking, wow, you're a horrific driver. But that is fine. I don't claim to be a truck driver. They're very professional drivers in real life, and uh, I couldn't match their skill. Right. I think we're attached. <laughs> uh, yes, the trailer seems to be following me. That is a good sign. Let's go. Okay. Uh, there is a vehicle coming from over there, it's alright. Good. Yeah, as for the retarder, it might be that I'm just doing something wrong, I'm not too sure. But it would appear to be somehow stuck on or off, or just thinks it's on when it isn't. It doesn't seem to be making a difference. But I don't know. Right, the street lights are on, good. So today's journey is actually set to 282 miles. This is of course not assuming that we're going on the CD road. So I might have to just change that because yeah, I'm going to make life harder and uh, I'm going to go on that route. And it might be that I should have uh, changed it before I went on here. So I'm just going to pull over and get things sorted out. It's all good. This is the correct way to go, even if we are going on the CD road. So to begin with, we're going to have a time lapse because I don't really want to uh, just keep chatting over all the video. And uh, obviously this is not the interesting part. The interesting part is when we see all kinds of things, flying trucks, upside down trailers, all that kind of stuff. It's all very bizarre. But yes, anyway, I will uh, obviously notify you when we get there. Now this is very close to where we're going to be joining the road, uh, so we're going to see an increase in traffic very soon. Somehow I've still managed to get an engine malfunction despite the truck damage only being 12%, so that is quite an achievement, but uh, yeah, obviously that truck hit me in a very bad place. Uh, so yep, almost there, we'll keep going. So yeah, we are actually now currently on the Calais to Duisburg Road and there have already been some interesting things. I've seen a caravan crash into a sign behind me. Uh, that's self-explanatory. An absolute hazard. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's full of surprises. Well, that's going to end badly. Oh, it resets. Some speed in that truck. But we're of course going to drive very sensibly to set a good example. Uh, I'm going to stick to the speed limits on here 
because otherwise it is going to become a bit of a um, yeah race between the other road users and I don't really want to do that because it'll end up in a crash it's always good if you do get there without um, you know rising off the truck it, it does help I'm a bit I'm in two minds about keeping the high beam on because obviously in real life you'd never keep it on you blind everybody but in this game it doesn't really make a difference and it makes the visibility much better for the video so I think I'm going to keep high beam on it's the only bad example I'm going to set but most drive with the high beam on anyway so it doesn't really make a difference right I'm actually doing 55 in a 50 seems like an okay speed though it's nothing unreasonable we have a maniac behind now alongside and finally in front there we go, that was close, that was very close. There's so many close calls, but there's also so many crashes. It's just interesting to see what happens. But yeah, I'm going to stick at the speed. 55, seems good in a 37, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the speed on this road can actually decrease massively. 37 just feels really slow. Especially when everybody else is doing 92. I say everybody else, but actually no, it's not fair. It's only a select few. There are plenty of very good drivers. Ugh. That one not included. I can see this ending badly, but I'm going to try my best to not crash into anybody. Or should I say, I'm going to try my best not to be crashed into. We have 164 miles to go, so you would have thought that on a road like this that's going to be impossible. But I have done this journey before several times without taking any damage at all in the peak times when the series is absolutely full and you have about what is it two to four hundred people on the road it's quite crazy I'm now doing 63 but it still seems like an okay speed it doesn't seem unnecessarily fast until you go around a bend then it's different Yes, when I say I'm going to stick to the speed limit, I basically mean I'm not going to do 92. We're not going to go flat out. Right, it's gone relatively quiet. The time of day is not really helping. I actually want it to be really busy because I want to see some really crazy stuff. But um, yeah, at the moment it is fairly quiet on the server. You can join and it can be totally full. And it's just a queue after a queue. But I'm pleased it isn't like that at the moment because it just makes for really bad viewing. I'd be sat in a traffic jam for literally ages and I'd have to keep jump cutting and that's really boring. So at least we're going to keep moving at a nice steady pace here and see some cabaret along the way. The server really does empty quite, quite fast. It's, uh, it's like... Yeah, we've got eight people nearby. Earlier, I was on here about... Uh, what time is it? I don't know. Seven o'clock? And it was uh, it's absolutely packed. And yes, I am called Scratch Nut. Yes, I don't go under the name of Dagawin on here. Because believe it or not, I get a lot of abuse for being called Dagawin. Uh, because most of the people on here think that it's not actually the real Dagawin. It's just some impersonator. So they hurl abuse and find it fun. So... Yeah, I, I go under a different name of Scrat. If you want to know what Scrat is, it's basically the character, the I think it's a saber toothed squirrel off Ice Age, and uh, yeah, it's quite cute with its nut. So I am I am Scrat's nut. Sounds weird, but yeah, <laughs> looks like we have a, a nice casual professional driver here doing the speed limit of thirty-seven. Even I'm not doing that. Okay, we've got some issues here. Cement mixer off-roading. Uh, <laughs> we've also got a lot of trucks just parked up. The train should be down here. Well, oh, watch out. Lunatic helicopter. Good bit of parking. And, of course, the train is actually coming. That barrier is about to go down, so I'm not going to risk it. I think if I was to risk that, I was... Yeah, I probably could have done it. Okay, that was a wimp. I, I could have done it, but the, the lights are flashing, so I really shouldn't have done You don't ever jump a level crossing. <laughs> yeah. As soon as the lights show, you should not cross. I think, actually, as soon as the lights are on, you're technically trespassing. 
if you cross, even if the barriers aren't going down. So here is the train. Almost doing this video in real time. We've got some people behind. Cargo rail. And it only crosses here about, I don't know, 40 times an hour? So not very frequently, really. That is a collision. That right, seems to have disappeared. Sometimes the collision can stay until the barriers are completely up. Okay, uh, back into first person view because I think it might be a bit too loud in third person view. And uh, yeah, my acceleration isn't great. So I am most likely to be overtaken, but that is fine. 22 tons is the load, so not exactly light. Hundred and twelve miles. And that isn't hundred and twelve miles until the end of this road, that's actually to Calais to the destination, so there's probably about hundred miles left on this road. Which is a hundred miles too many, really. Um because <laughs> yes, in all that time I could easily be written off. Potentially by a car. Oh, what's going on here? It's alright, it's just a car casually sat upside down in the middle of the road. Still going okay though. I've had it much worse. I have been, even today, uh, flipped upside down. Because, well, what usually happens actually is uh, somebody overtakes and then they actually can't get back in so they try and swerve into you and it flips you. Not every time, but sometimes. So many cars. Why do people drive cars on ETS2? Euro Truck Simulator 2? <laughs> Euro Car Simulator? I don't know. If they're towing a caravan, then maybe, but a car on its own doesn't really serve a great purpose. Quite a few vehicles around this corner. Uh, in fact, this is where I've written off before. Ah, same place. That was close, yeah. Same place, same thing happened. Someone went too fast around the corner, overcorrected, crashed straight into me. And I was like, I don't know, 85% damage or something, 90% damage. So I had to load. But these things happen. It's to be expected. Uh, on the plus side, I've actually got quite a bit of money, despite having to repair after every job. 433,000 euros. 62 miles per hour. This truck's also done 9,166 miles since I bought it. That is the mileage I've done, that's not with another driver. Um, so yeah, not bad, it's a fair bit of use. I'm not saying it's high, it's just for me, that's, that's quite a lot of mileage. My other one I think was on 50 something thousand when I got rid of it. Or do I still have it? I'm not too sure. It might be that my driver is uh, using that, I'm not too sure. Anyway, here is the, the very professional driver again in front of us. Uh, don't know how they got such a lead. I think it was probably the barriers. I had to wait and this driver obviously continued at 37, which is good. But I don't know if I can stay behind because I'm trying to record a video. And it'd be too slow if I do stay at 37. So I'm going to overtake on a very safe part of the road. Uh, this area is not safe because it's full of bends. But yeah, as soon as there is a, a nice straight bit, I will go for it and hope that nobody is coming the other way. Either way, I'll, I'll do it professionally. Um, and doing it where people could be pulling out of a fuel station is not a safe place. So I'm going to wait for an opening. Somebody is approaching from behind. They might go straight for the overtake because we are both now doing 37 and the speed limit has reduced to 31. So that's all good. Yeah, there's so many bends, twists and turns, it's going to be so difficult to overtake. We might be stuck at this speed for the rest of the video. Hopefully not though, because uh, I do want to crack on. Pick 
picking up the pace now. 50 miles per hour. Even I can't keep up. My foot is to the floor and we're doing 45. Yeah, I refueled earlier, so no fuel is needed yet. In fact, in this video, fuel won't be needed at all. But it's a fairly economical truck, actually. I've also fulfilled all the perks. I'm on level 36, and I think there's 36 perks, so everything is now done. Some good progress. I've got to this stage before on a different profile, but I had to restart. So uh, I've actually done it twice. If I'd continued, I'd have probably been on, like, level 50 by now. Maybe 60? Yeah, I can't keep up. This is my maximum speed with this amount of weight. Ah, there we go. Downhill. And there is a potential overtaking area, but it's traffic. So, probably not. And I'm actually coming off here, so there's no point. Yeah, I didn't realise. We're actually coming off with about 30 miles left to go. I always thought it was about 10 miles left to go. Might as well start indicating. And I can turn off high beam. It's just beyond where this truck is parked. Here we are. So it's a fun route. It wasn't actually all of the road. That didn't start at the beginning. Uh, Jewisburg is the beginning. But of course, because we were coming from a different location, it meant that I sort of cut the corner. So, yeah, the first piece was time-lapsed. The rest of it was done in real time. Right, I do need to merge here, but somebody is actually on lane one. Or are they other in lane two? Well, they're kind of in both, actually, but <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh... Interesting. They just went into each other, and I think one of those trucks sunk into the ground. If you go back in the video and look in the mirror, you'll see it. That is interesting. Uh, yeah, so much weird stuff happening. It's true that that truck was blocking, as uh, 416 is pointing out. But it could have been a, a genuine problem, like they lost connection or something. I don't know, maybe their PC froze. Some things are legitimate, they say they lagged, which I can understand. Probably is true. Okay, this is a bad one. This is usually a very bad turning. There are some very courteous people, and they'll let you go. But it isn't my right of way. So I can't just floor it. Okay, I have no idea what's going on over there. Anyway, we're 15 miles off Cali. This has been a fun drive, and I'm actually, I think, on 0% damage on the trailer and the cargo. I am. Very good. So for those of you who like my ETS2 videos, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, my ETS2 videos are fairly... Well, they're very slow-paced, um, and it is just a bit of me rambling, but uh, at the same time... It could be relaxing to watch, I don't know, although that road wasn't exactly relaxing. Um, yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat here. Here's all the traffic. Where have they all been? It really... I'll have to do it again when it's absolutely mm -hmm. packed, the mm -hmm. server. I can't do it as a stream because it will cause chaos. Viewers will try and follow me and uh, it's actually against the rules, I think, to take a convoy through a congested area. And that certainly is congested area and it would be considered a convoy so yep I can't be doing that but I can do a normal video uh, what are we doing here power sliding around the roundabout I'm assuming winter mod is installed here that is actually quite it's quite interesting you're actually power sliding your truck you are can't go around again, but that is quite incredible. That's got to be winter mode. I haven't installed winter mode. You are power sliding. I certainly can't power slide my pipes. Yeah, that is impressive. Very well done. 
I don't know how easily done that is actually. Uh, but yep, yeah, here we go. Uh, Calais is here, and I'm going to be turning right here. I don't know which depot I'm going to. But it is one of these. I could have just stayed on the main road. I'm following the sat nav, but actually I think this is a slower way to go. And now I've got red lights. Okay, so it is the depot on the right. LKW. Now, which is my bay? I'm not too sure. I think it's behind the Scania trailer. In here. Excuse me, Scania trailer. There it is, right. I'm going to go for that. My normal approach angle is from over here. And usually, if I'm not recording, I do it in one go, but whenever I record, I do it badly. Well, it's accepting it. It's not perfect, but it will do. So, large tubes have been delivered, bringing in quite a bit of money, 15,511 euros, 846 experience points, and of course, yeah, level 36, elite. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to be hopefully doing some more in the near future. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.